We started out with something that was really quite weathered and the end result was really good. So we're just cleaning this uh, seat back, getting ready to recolor it. So I've already gone over it with some, some detergent to get all of the uh, wax and the grease off of, off of it. And now I'm just roughing it up with this scour sponge. It's a really good surface for it to stick to. The paint needs a perfect surface. Recoloring this because over time this has lost some of its color obviously because this faces the weather and probably has it had a bit of seawater on it and so we need to get this not just clean but really really dry and once it's totally dry then we mask it up and we then put the new color on it so hopefully once we do that it'll come up nice hmm. What do you have to say, Rexy? Hello. With some baking? Hmm? Hi. Now we need to mask everything up and cover up anything that doesn't need to be painted. This is actually quite a, an important part of it. Because if we don't do this properly, then we get the color over everything else. Now we're just going to cover everything else, so we don't spray any paint all over the furniture. So what we're using to recolor it is a vinyl dye. So this is meant to rejuvenate and recolor it to its original color. So we'll see how it works. Hopefully it'll be a good result. Mm -hmm. And what we need to do is to do uh, a few very light coats and then let it dry. You don't like the smell, do you? You grab the bar. The one. Yeah, thanks. Well, it's okay. It was not I don't think it touches. Thank you. 
right now to this side you can see a significant difference in colour. A lot of greyish patches here. Because over here there's not so many. Well, while Dad's up there, I'm going to be cooking some pancakes. So you turn the gas valve on. Just taking off all the masking now. Looks beautiful. Job's finished. Gotta dry properly. Yeah. It's really nice. Not bad. Looks like new, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Really pretty. Mm. You can see the back of the seat rest now that I finished it. Earlier on when I was scrubbing it, you could see what it looked like before. It was black and pitted and worn. And now it looks great. So I'm pretty happy with that. So in summary, we used two cans of the vinyl color. We did three coats and the result was fantastic. We started out with something that was really quite weathered and the end result was really good. The, came out really well, it was even, it um, had a nice luster to it, and it's lasted. So very happy with the result. So you definitely can use this product, it does work, and it works outside. So some of the tips for doing this job is, uh, first of all, clean it really well. If you start out with a bad surface, you'll end up with a bad result. Uh, dry it really well, because you really don't want to be painting the stuff over a wet surface. and just make sure that you do even light coats and get good coverage so you don't end up with any ripples or runs. Uh, if you take your time, do it carefully, it's really not that difficult. So for a fraction of what it would cost you to replace the vinyl on one of these covers, if your vinyl is in good condition, it's just the color, go ahead and recolor it. Hello, what the? Hey, Rexy. <laughs> If you like the video guys, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Especially if you found it useful and enjoyable. Thanks for watching. See Thank you next you. time. It's hard for your balls. Oh no, it's gonna get dirt. No kid, no fun. Okay. Toy. With his freaking toy, he's gonna drop that in the water. <laughs> oh. Oh, <shit. laughs> I'll do that again. <laughs>